Hello and welcome back to Rev Endurance Sports and another edition of what is in our stand today. Well, what we have today is the follow-up video to a issue I had with my Favero Electronics Asioma pedals. Now, I mentioned in the previous video that these are my preferred power meter system and I have been using these for over a year and I've got over 10,000 miles and over a million feet of climbing. I've ridden these pedals in dirt, pavement, and uh, gotten caught in a few rain showers. So um, all, all weather type of conditions. Now, um, why are they my favorite pedals or power meter system? Because of their portability. So you can put these on any one of your bikes. So personally, I have a fixed gear bike. I have several road bikes. I also have a tandem. And it's very hard to do power metering on a tandem. So having them in the pedals is a very, very nice way to have that power meter um, information. Now, the fixed gear as well. Right, so uh, very portable, very easy to use, uh, very easy to install. So it is just an eight millimeter um, Allen wrench and you just install it, no specific torque, nothing that is out of the ordinary. Uh, there's no uh, special adapters, there's nothing like that. So very easy to install, very easy to transfer from bike to bike. And lastly, I find that they are the most reliable power meter I have ever used except for my SRM which I've now had nine years. Now the SRM and this power meter system, the Favero Electronics Asioma pedals, track the closest to each other and so being that the SRM is a spider power meter and the chain rings are bolted to it. I'm able to ride the SRM with these pedals installed and then I also have two stages crank arms that um, that I I have those and then I also have a power meter hub so can you imagine the total nerd fest of me riding with an SRM crank set these pedals installed the left crank arm is a stages and the rear is a power tap hub. Oh yes, I have done that with four GPS units, cycling computers, and been able to uh, download the files and, and compare and contrast the files. And I will tell you that the SRM and the Favero Asioma pedals track the closest to each other. And I will also tell you that the stages, at least the two units I have, the two stages units that I have, one's a Gen 2 and one is a Generation 3, they both track higher than the Favero Electronics Asioma pedals and the SRM. All right, now that's just a little bit of a recap and, and in case you haven't seen the other video. So now let's talk about why we're here today and, and that fast blinking means it's about to shut off. So uh, whenever you move them or uh, turn them on, you get that blink that we've seen. And now when it blinks really fast, it means it's shut off. All right, so let's get back to why we are here today. The left pedal, which is the master pedal, uh, was not taking a charge. It was also not visible in the app. So I submitted a warranty claim with Favero and even with the nine hour time difference, uh, I'm in Southern California and, and they're in Italy. Even with the nine hour time difference, they were very responsive. Uh, usually, um, you know, the business day for them was opposite pretty much of, of our business day, but we were able to communicate quite fluidly through a process of troubleshooting. And so uh, some of the troubleshooting they wanted me to do was to hold the battery connector which is proprietary 
and it attaches to a, uh, a standard USB cable and to hold it over this decal here and just hold it over for 15 seconds and that was supposed to do a reset of some sort but it didn't didn't work all right so after I did all that troubleshooting and which is the video the previous video to this one then they said okay this is a very rare problem we've I, I'm you know with the um, Italian uh, accent I'm, I'm not sure I understood this correctly but it almost sounded like this is extremely rare we haven't seen this before so um, <laughs> you know leave it to me <laughs> to, to uh, have something like this happen so what they then said is you know you're you're mechanically inclined you obviously own a bike shop and do mechanical work so what we're going to do is just send you the innards the power meter itself and have you swap it out and that'll be you know something fairly easy to do so uh, right here this is the cap that then gives you access to that bolt or I should say nut in there and that nut unfortunately now here's here's my rub with this with this whole problem or with this whole uh, system that inner area where you need to put a socket uh, that socket cannot be more than 13 millimeters so if we go back to this little box here here's this is what it's going to look like once I pull that out and that right there that threaded portion right there is where this nut is attached but here's the problem most common um, sockets that you know I have several sets but most common sockets they are more than 13 millimeters of of um, OD so I had to go buy another socket from you know Home Depot no problem there and this one was basically going to be sacrificed and so here we go put your calipers on here and I shaved off in some areas you know about a millimeter with a file about half a millimeter so in different areas it's not perfect and that's not important because this is only going to be used for this one job and this one job only and um, I got it to under 13 millimeters and that's the only way that you can get inside here to loosen that up all right so now we have a new power meter comes in its box with its ID and plus ID its serial number and um, and all we need to do is replace that and then send it back and this is a nice little jewelry box for for your power meter so nice presentation and um, I like it when a company stands behind their product and they sent me a new power meter to install today is April the 19th it's a Friday evening I've uh, taken care of all my customers and now it's time for me to take care of myself it's after store hours and we will get this uh, swapped out get back on the road and I appreciate your time and attention today thank you so much for tuning in if you like the content that you are seeing here on the um, on the channel please subscribe and please tell your friends and uh, we are looking forward to your comments and suggestions there's also a a little bell there get some so you can get notifications of when I post new videos thank you so much and we will see you on the road once again this was a Favero electronics Asioma power meter pedals uh, in my opinion well well worth the money 
um, head and shoulders above a Garmin pedal system and so much lighter than a power tap system as well. So, all right, thank you so much and we'll see you on the road.